Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the worldwide leader in regenerative therapies. Today, I'm going to talk about aging a little bit. Not exactly the most fun topic, especially if you're getting into middle age. I've been there for a while. Welcome to it. Um, let's see what happens as we age. So, so normally when you're younger, you have plenty of stem cells which can help repair and regenerate tissues that are damaged in your body. Some of these um, get repaired and replaced often. Cerebrospinal fluid, um, your mucosa, you know, in your gut and things like that. Others have a much slower repair cycle. But nevertheless, as we age, the de demand for stem cells continues to increase because we start to break down, right? Unfortunately, the supply of stem cells is going down. Demand for stem cells continues to increase because we start to break down, right? Unfortunately, the supply of stem cells is going down. So in the world of economics, that is not great for the person who needs the supply but doesn't have it. So what's the result of that? The result is that we get increased inflammation, and that's called inflammaging is the way scientists describe it. You have increased amounts of oxidative stress. You have increased chronic disease, okay? You don't repair things as quickly, um, and it compounds itself for those who have increased risk factors, such as uh, smoking, whether it's a vape or, um, or cigarettes, alcohol intake, uh, pollution, environmental problem, and then other toxicities. There's various medications that we all take that can be damaging to our cells, um, or even things uh, simple that you might not even think about, like an H2 blocker, like Pepsid or Nexium. Um, it can inhibit cell turnover. We need cell turnover to replace, obviously, the cells that are dying. Or, um, so something like that can be a problem when it comes to osteoporosis, as an example. At, at any rate, this is what happens, all right? Here's an example. This is BM, bone marrow. The biggest area of bone marrow that we have is in our uh, iliac crest of the pelvis, okay? Here's a graph. Um, when you're born, the number is 1 in 10,000 cells in your bone marrow is a stem cell. By the age of 50, that has gone down to one, to about 50 fold, okay? Um, now, by the age of 70, it's gone down by a factor of 200. One in two million cells in your bone marrow is a stem cell. So that goes part and parcel with the supply going down and the demand going up. The additional problem is there's a lot of stem cells in your bone marrow, relatively speaking, other other areas in your body, and our fat. The problem with these cells, a lot of them age with us, so they're either as old as we are or they're, you know, decades around, but they are lazy, okay? They can be couch potatoes. They don't have the functionality of a young, naive, potent stem cell, such as the donor stem cells that we use for anti-aging therapies, okay? We use umbilical cord stem cells, which are very young. They're very energetic, right? They're like little kids running around the house as opposed to couch potatoes that are our own stem cells. The exosomes are byproducts of stem cells. I've done separate videos on this, but they can also be looked at as a fountain of youth. Because what these stem cells and exosomes will do is if you give them intravenously, which is how we do the anti-aging therapies, they'll float through the bloodstream and they will deposit themselves in areas of the body that have inflammation. That attracts them in, that was shown in a Harvard University study like a dozen years ago. And what they can do is they can decrease inflammation, hence they can decrease oxidative stress. They can compel tissue repair and regeneration, and they can help fill the gap 
between the decreased supply and the necessary demand. Now, I'm not saying that these stem cells are the ones that are going to become part of your DNA. They're not going to become part of your specialty cells, but they can amp up your body's own repair processes by what's called cell to cell communication. Okay? So the end result is a lot of benefits and you can help prevent a lot of these chronic diseases from getting worse. And some of them, there's a lot of research in our experience that shows you can regress um, on some of these to help you increase your quality of life tremendously. So if you or a loved one wants to look at anti-aging stem cell and exosome therapy, visit our website today, r3stemcell.com, and call us at plus one for the USA, 844-GET-STEM. And we'll set you up with a free consultation to discuss. Thank you.